If each element of second order determinant is, a z is 0 or 1, what is the probability that the value of the determinant is positive? Look, if it's a second order determinant, then it is something like this. Um, okay. And you have the you have the freedom to put 0 or 1 with equal probabilities. Okay. So, you are putting 2, so randomly you can put 0 or 1. So, the probability of putting a half or a 0 is uh, 1 or a 0 is each equal to half. Now, if you want it to be positive, then what will that value be? That value will also be only 1. No. See, it is this into this. So, this has to become 1 for the determinant to be positive. This has to remain 1. Okay. And this multiplication has to remain 0. Correct. Now, in how many ways can you put this to be 0? This can be 0 in how many ways? Hmm? It can be 0 or 1. Either both zeros? Yes, sir. Or 1 0? Or 1 0? Apart from that, nothing else. So, there are only 3 ways in which this can be 0, this, this thing. Okay. So, there are only 3 determinants whose value will be positive. Do we get that? For this to be 1 and this to be 0, there are only 3 possibilities. Making this 0 is possible only if it is 0, 0. 1 0 or or these are the only 3 nothing else is allowed. So, that is 3 and in total how many ways can you juggle it in any 2 ways you can put 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. So, 2 to the power 4 that is 16. So, it has to be divided by the total number of ways in which you can form a determinant whose elements are either 0 or 1 is 16. 3 by 16. What is the answer? If it becomes a 3 and 3 by 3, then, then the hell starts. No, sorry. This, this was matrix. This was determined. 